Hi and welcome to the Damalak Krupi channel. So today I want to show you how to make a foam generator to produce air creep from a standard garden sprayer. So this is a follow on video from the first I did in this series which was just an overview of the foam generator that we're going to be showing today. Just click in the top right hand corner of the screen now and that link will take you to that particular video. Again that was just an overview of the uh, phone generator. This video is going to show you in detail how to build it. Right so this is our phone generator. Just trying to find a sheltered part of the garden because it's quite windy today so hopefully the audio isn't too bad. We've got our garden sprayer which is our pressure vessel which contains the um, detergent solution that we're going to use to create the foam. We've got our gun or applicator and we've got the um, hose network in order to obviously produce the foam. So if we start sort of at this end so this is the connection that fits onto the uh, hose from the air compressor so the first thing we need at the end is just a quick coupling with a female thread at the end and this is a 3 8 female thread one thing I'll say which I mentioned in the other video is just make sure you get the correct connector for the air compressor hose that you've got in Europe there seems to be two types one is an industrial type which is uh, a much longer connection at the end and then you've got this one which is kind of for sort of retail domestic uh, air compressors into there I've placed a 3 8 thread by 10 mil barb, used some plumbers uh, PTFE tape or white tape and just screwed that into the coupling fitting and then everywhere we attach the hose to we're going to be using a 10 mil or 10 to 18 mil hose clip. So one of these. The hose itself that I'm using for this job is 10mm internal diameter braided hose. So this is the end, as I said, which goes into your um, quick release coupling for the uh, air compressor. So that hose obviously will go to the air compressor. Moving a bit further down, so I've got a length of this um, braided hose. That's about, no, about 20 centimeters long, doesn't really matter what the length of that is. And then this particular fitting here is a T-piece. And again, all this is, is just the 10 mil barbs on either end. And then again, we attach the hose with the hose clip on and just tighten those up. So what happens is the air comes in here. It goes to our pressure vessel or the um, garden sprayer. But it also tees off here and this goes to the gun for the applicator and I'll explain that uh, in a minute. So we just follow the hose down, so 20 centimeter piece of hose there, then another short length of hose coming round to our garden sprayer and again in the other video I mentioned the reason for using the garden sprayer, one is it's probably the cheapest option 
rather than using um, plumbing pipe unless you've obviously got plumbing pipe uh, lying around but the other thing for me is that these garden sprayers are designed as pressure vessels so they've been tested and they have on the side or should have on the side a pressure release valve and again from a safety aspect that's a lot more attractive for me personally than making my own pressure vessel using quite thick uh, PVC pipe so another length of braided hose so I bought four meters of braided hose to cut up so this is again about 20 25 uh, centimeters long and this comes down to a valve and the reason for having a shut off valve here hopefully you can see that the reason for having this shut off valve is because you need some level of control for the air because the air that comes from the compressor won't stop until the compressor gets up to uh, whatever preset pressure you've got on there and it will switch off so we need something to be able to control the air so that's why I've placed a um, valve on here so the valve is this so it's just a simple 3 8 valve almost like a gate valve quite cheap on the internet I think but I bought these in a pack of three again we have another 10 mil barb 3 8 on the other side which just screws into there and I've placed PTFE or plumbers tape around the thread about four or five turns around the thread before I tighten this up so that sits on there and then of course the braided hose goes over the top with the hose clip and then that clips into place I'll just show you on this garden ho uh, this sprayer that hasn't been adapted so on this side we've got the valve or the pressure release valve and on this side this is the uh, sprayer wand which attaches here so all I've done is I've taken this off leaving a moulded thread on this side just heated that thread up with a blowtorch not burn it just to make sure it's nice and soft and then screw this valve onto there it'll be nice and soft it'll actually create its own um, thread and I've placed some silicone adhesive on there as well just to fasten it in place So at the bottom I've just drilled a hole, uh, a 15 mil hole and again using one of these um, 3 8 to 10 mil barb so this is actually about 16.5 millimeters diameter so drilling a 15 millimeter hole in the bottom of here and then just chamfering the edge heating up with a blowtorch again don't burn it just make it soft and then this will actually just screw in again make its own thread some silicone adhesive uh, something like sticks all silicone adhesive on there as we tighten it up and then seal it all around the edge length of this braided hose again with a hose clip and this length is about a meter long and just fasten all that in place
And if we just follow this hose round, so this hose comes into this fitting here, which is just two gate valves with 10 mil barbs, just a, a, a three-way or a Y-shaped. Again, these valves just give you that little bit of control. So this is the solution from our pressure vessel which will come into this side and as, I, as I mentioned before the bottom of the T there there's another length of hose about a meter long and that feeds in to the other side of this Y so your solution is going to come in here the air which is teed off comes into here and mixes in this tube and again these are just with the barbs the hose over the top and those hose clips we've got another length about 20 25 centimeter long length of um, braided hose and that goes into the gun and all the gun is it's really it's identical on both sides so again you've got one of these um, 10 mil 3 8 by 10 mil which goes in either side so again drill a hole 15 mil hole heat it up with a blowtorch and then just screw that in carefully with some silicone adhesive on the end to glue it into place and that's obviously the same on that side so one of these acts as a nozzle for the foam to come out of and then the other one is where this mixing tube fits into This is 40 millimeter solvent weld uh, waste pipe, plumbing waste pipe. I've got a socket, 40 mil um, solvent weld socket on that end, 40 mil solvent weld socket on this end, and then I've just placed in there one of these access caps again on both sides, so both sides are identical, both ends are identical and I've just welded that, solvent welded that into place into this coupling inside here, in one end I'll show you this So if we just have a look what's actually in here, so this is just cheap pan scrubbers, so galvanised or stainless steel pan scrubbers, and all you want to do is just scrunch them up and just fill this entire tube. The only difference in the two ends is we'll, we'll be filling, um, filling from this end to stop this from clogging up at the nozzle end of the gun all I've done is I've taken an old piece of chicken wire and just scrunched that up loosely into almost like a cylindrical shape so that that actually fits into the end and that stops those pan scrubbers from compressing at the end and actually blocking the end up Again, the reason for having these access um, caps on either end is so that we can take the um, pan scrubbers out and replace them if needed or if there's any blockage or if it needs cleaning. So that's it, so just identical on both ends. One end's left free and on the other end we just add this braided hose. And basically that's it. So as the air and... Um, soap solution comes into the gun 
those pan scrubbers just agitate the solution and create an even better foam that obviously comes out of this end. Okay, so there are a number of advantages of using these garden sprayers as your pressure chamber when you're creating one of these um, foam generators. One is, and the main thing for me, this is this has already been designed as a pressure vessel, so it's been tested. It has a pressure relief valve on this side, which you can either manually release the pressure, or if it gets above. Um, a certain pressure this will actually push up on a spring and release the pressure itself massive benefit regarding that especially where safety is concerned the other thing the other good advantage about using this is it's got some form of transparency to it and it's also got a liquid measurement on the side volume measurement on the side so not only can you see where your detergent is up to, which is really important because if we fill this, we're starting to produce foam, you really want to know when this gets to a, a level where it needs to be topped up again. With plumbing waste pipe, which obviously doesn't have any transparency to it, you can't, you don't get that at all. So that's a, a, a huge advantage. And the last thing is, this is actually, as I said, this is cheaper than having to buy plumbing waste pipe and the solvent weld glue if you haven't already got it lying around somewhere so again this was about seven or eight pounds in the UK about ten dollars and it's purpose made for the job just a case of undoing this and you've got a, a huge area to fill detergent from so for me this is definitely the way forward So there you go, building a really effective foam generator using a garden sprayer. Relatively inexpensive and very easy to make. Just apologies again for the poor sound quality. I know it's going to be poor, but this is actually the best day we've had for a week. There's been a storm com coming through and I just thought I'd chance it today because this, this video is long overdue. Please subscribe to the channel as usual. If you've enjoyed this particular video, hit the like button. Thank you very much for watching.